Over the last 3,000 days, we have gone from a campsite and palisade on a hill to a concentric castle that dominates the landscape. One Minecraft village has been transformed into a medieval village. Another has become a medieval farmstead. And a third has vanished. Shh. There's also a mill, mill stream and mill pond, a pottery, and a charcoal burners camp in the woods. Remember, charcoal was the main source of fuel. There's a bridge, a ford, and many, many, many fields. We've delved into history. Gong farmers paid good money for collected poo. They have held since medieval times the head of John the Baptist as a child. We've built and we have been plagued by bandits. It is time to go deal with the bandit camp. But to do that, we first need to head into the secret Minecraft part of this castle world. And the secret Minecraft part is more secret than it was. We'll just pop down here and over here. If you remember, it used to be just here, there was sort of like a mine entrance. Yeah, it's gone. Let's come around the back. Around the back of the potter's house, through the trees, into the cave. And at the back of the cave, the shaft hasn't moved. I've just shifted the entrance. So, ah, here we are. All right, just going to grab some pumpkins. All right, that's 40, that's probably enough. Next, we need to head back up to the blacksmiths. Oh, I'll have to get you out. Where have I put the blast, blast furnace? Oh, won't say no. Now I have to smelt a whole lot of iron. And while it smelts, let's talk about armor, or lack thereof. I could talk about what a professional soldier wore, or a knight. Pauldrons, greaves, breastplates, helms, chain, whatever. But you can see in your head already what I'm talking about. For a knight, it's this sort of thing from the Morgan Crusader Bible. For a soldier, more like this. But what about the ordinary men called up from their villages to fulfill yet another obligation to their Lord? What armor or protection did they wear? The answer is not much. If they were lucky, they had a gambeson or maybe a leather cap that someone had made for them or that they'd inherited from a dead or aging relative, but otherwise nothing. I mean, think about it from the Lord's perspective. Where is the return in fitting out a peasant even if he is fighting for you? Armour is not a one-size-fits-all and is built to last. It's fine for a soldier or a knight, someone in frequent need of it and who will be busy with your fights or with the king's. But a tenant, who will soon be back at home if he survives working your land and possibly growing resentful? Do you really want that person to have armour? As to weapons, for the ordinary tenant called up to fight there were two options. A bow or longbow and the pike. A pike was a long staff, about 10 to 20 feet, topped with a sharp metal spearhead. Good against advancing cavalry, not so great in close quarters. Everyone might have a knife, but that's it. Good luck to you all, and may God have mercy on your souls. So now on the dawn of day 3000, it's time to head to the bandit camp. I don't have anywhere near enough iron blocks, but hopefully I've got enough. I'm not bringing the destroyer with me because I don't want anything happening to it. Normally the Lord would ride out on his war horse with his men arranged behind him. Oh, and by the way, big thanks to Claire Carter for linking me an excellent informed tour guide of Chepstow Castle, which solved a mystery for me. Should castle gates be open or closed? The answer is they should always be closed. Opened only for the Lord and his retinue or someone equally important, everyone else uses the wicket gate. But... Some of these doors are open for Minecraft reasons, some are closed for Minecraft reasons. 
I'm working on having them all closed but it's a little bit of a conundrum. Right, so imagine that I have with me some of my men at arms, knights if I've got them, and the peasantry armed with longbows and pikes. And we are heading out. Now of course to begin with I'd have gone to the chapel, the priest would have heard my confession, I'd have taken communion, I'd have received a blessing, and the priest would have said that he would pray for us all. All right, it's already midday, we're supposed to start out at dawn. It takes a long time to march everyone over. Let's start playing out. Why didn't that work? Why isn't that working? Why are my knights not working? Yes. Okay, so for some reason it doesn't like making them sideways. We shall just bring all my armed guards into battle. What? Why? Why does some work and not others? If anyone knows why this isn't working, please tell me. Let's try this. It shouldn't be directional. get it. I don't get it. Mori Turi, Nolimus Mori. No wonder they've been raiding us if that's all they've got. my men pick off the last of them. That's the bandits vanquished and I will salt the earth so they cannot return. And that was quite anticlimactic. But we survived. I live to fight and rule another day. It doesn't matter where I stand in or out of Bailey, outside the walls. I love this castle and hopefully you love it too. I've learned a lot on this journey and hopefully you've enjoyed the ride. I'll be going on another soon, a little further back in time. But in the meantime, welcome to my hardcore historic castle. <laughs>